Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech Guru. In this video, I'm going to do the haptic feedback and the vibration intensity test on the Realme GT Neo 2 device. Yes friends, this is my uh, day one of using the Realme GT Neo 2 and I'm going to say one thing is that this vibration haptic feedback in this phone is really really very far better than the other Realme phones. Yes friends, which I've used before. So, so far this is the best haptic feedback what the Realme phone can have. That's what uh, I can definitely say that initial impressions only. I'll try to explain you why I did mention those kind of uh, big claims. So usually I, I will not say unless it's really powerful and strong enough. So this Realme GT Neo 2 has got really very, very powerful haptic feedback. It's very close to the IQ 7's haptic feedback in terms of the 4D vibration as well. That's very good thing to uh, know this kind of uh, haptic feedback. But one thing is that unfortunately, this 4D vibration and haptic feedback you cannot use while gaming. That's really totally disappointed in terms of UI optimization is not that uh, they should really optimize friends in terms of the haptic feedbacks. For example, in the Realme X and Max, there's an option in the game space which says 4D vibration. Okay, and in the Realme GT Neo 2, there is no such option called 4D vibration. And while playing Battlegrounds mobile game, you cannot use the 4D vibrations at all. But this haptic feedback is really very strong. I'll try to show you a couple of scenarios. I'll try to explain you as well why. So is the vibration intensity which I did select to the maximum to the highest value as you can see exactly. Highest value I did select. So right now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to open the keyboard and I'll be typing and I'll try to keep the mic exactly on the phone. So you'll be able to understand the voice as well. Right now the time is about close to I think midnight uh, 12, I think 12, 24 as you can see midnight because right now the and the surrounding sound and everything will be completely quiet and this is a perfect time to test the haptic feedback in this Realme GT Neo 2. And just before this video also I did complete the video demonstrating 12 hours of usage. That's the reason uh, continuously I've been using this phone only friends non-stop. So let me do uh, start with the test. So right now as you can see friends exactly the mic is on the phone of the keyboard you can clearly see. Now let me do start typing. As you can hear friends it's very very loud. It's too loud I can definitely say that. So even I can actually hear from far away as well the sound of this keyboard. very good and you need to do the side by side comparison with the IQ 7 device then you will be able to understand which is kind of better in terms of the intensity. Now what I am going to do is that I am going to show you the alarm clock application. Here you can actually feel the haptic feedbacks more. So I hope you understand my point what uh, how much high intensity the phone has got. Yes, when it's really good haptic feedback, I did really enjoy typing in this uh, Realme GT Neo 2 to be frank exactly. So usually I don't praise the haptic feedback a lot unless it's really powerful enough. So my favorite haptic feedback used to be the IQ7 device. After that I did start to use the ROG Phone 3 and right now even the Realme GT Neo 2 also came into the very close to IQ7 device in terms of the haptic feedback. The only reason why it's not above IQ7 and equal to IQ7 because there is no implementation of this haptic feedback into the gaming. For example, Battlegrounds mobile game, there is no implementation. But in the IQ7 device, there is the actual implementation is there. That's the reason I'm trying to give the points to this IQ7 device. You can see 4D vibration, you can enable and you can actually play in the Battlegrounds mobile game. That's a kind of really advantage. You need to utilize this kind of hardware with the software opt optimization, but that's not the case in the Realme GT Neo 2. That's slightly disappointed in the software uh, reason, but hardware is really strong. It's really very powerful. So far the powerful and best in the Realme phone segment. That's it friends. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates. In case if you have any other queries, make sure to follow the playlist of the Realme GT Neo 2 for more details as well. As you can see, thank you for watching. See you in the next video and let's stay tuned. Meanwhile, signing off. Bye.